Today's lesson, how to correct yourself and how to celebrate your success. Today's video was brought to us by Mantis. The Mantis family of products is integral to ASP staff building handgun and carbine skills and are your most economical and fastest path to improvement in your skills too. Whether you choose the X10, the Laser Academy, the Blackbeard, or use them all in concert, they will help your practice be more effective, efficient, and fun. Go check them out, pick up a unit, and thank them for sponsoring today's video. Hey guys, Brian Hill with The Complete Combatant. Welcome to Manus Dry Fire Mondays, brought to you by Active Self Protection Extra. Hit the subscribe and the like button. We really appreciate your interaction, your comments, and know that your comments fuel actually the video production from me. I've been doing these videos for a couple years now, so it's you, you want new material to cover, you want to cover what people want to. And I had a gentleman in my deliberate coaching class emphasize that maybe I should go over this again, that it really made a big difference to him. And I was, I'm glad to do that. I hope it'll help you. This is probably one of the most, uh, the most damaging training scars. See, I can't even get it out, it's so bad. Uh, it does damage you in a way. Uh, but unfortunately, a lot of people believe that they grew up in the hard school you know, the old way, and you tell people that they suck and they'll get better, and you drive them harder, and that's how they do. We know that that's not how high performers really achieve. Uh, they're hard enough on themselves. We don't have to add a lot of that. So extraordinary coaches do something different with their clients. Uh, they don't believe they need to make it harder. What they do is they give them more controls and uh, immediate feedback so that they can manage the chaos of the process and improve in a quicker motion. You know, a lot of you think you need 10,000 hours, and Gladwell's work has been disproven uh, over and over. Uh, the, the part that he took, the 10,000 hour rules, you can do things for 10,000 hours and not get good at them. Uh, it, it's more important that you're mindful and that the feedback is immediate, that you're present and you stretch your skills so that you get better quicker. You've heard me talk about those things, and it's really important in this. Whenever I make a mistake, I want a correction. And the first and easiest correction is always supplied by myself. I didn't see the sights, I didn't feel the trigger, uh, I didn't get prepared before I shot, I'm not centered, I'm holding my breath, but they don't need anything else. It's when you start describing yourself when you make those corrections, you say, ah, oh, you idiot, you didn't see the sights, that you change the way that your brain works. We drop more into a fight or flight, we really don't want to program that for this part of training. The part that's good at, at, at lining up guns and shooting can really fall apart under pressure like that if we put it in the wrong program. So we want to correct without emotion. Can't yell at yourself, can't beat yourself up. We're not talking about motivation, we're not talking about discipline, we're talking about correction. Correction should be offered without the emotion that needs to change it because you're already worried about it. You've done something, you know you need to correct it. So the most important thing is the immediate feedback. And the best way to supply that is, did I see anything? Did I feel anything? Am I breathing? Am I standing still? Those things, they make a big difference. And then you start knowing, all right, I fired if you're a super fast shooter, this happens for fast shooters all the time, is you shoot without seeing anything. It's a very easy correction. And that shot, I didn't see anything. So on the next shot, I'm going to look for some visual input. Notice I didn't say slow down, because you're not gonna take a fast guy and slow him down. You gotta get him to look, all right? Accuracy shooters, you're a little harder conundrum, all right? Uh, as long as it hits the target, you get your reward. So when the timer says that you're slow, you say to yourself, it doesn't matter. So how do we change that? What we have to do is we have to realize in the real world of fighting, there are time signatures. Five punches per second, five steps per second, five shots per second, and that the other person gets to vote too. So you have to do this in a timely manner. The other thing is that your concentration phrase the longer you, you spend on it. So we know about five to 15 seconds is the average cyclic rate for concentration. So if you spend too much time trying to aim, you're actually gonna get worse. And then when you feel like it's perfect, you're gonna say now, and that becomes the past moment, and then you move the sights anyway. So all we have to do is recognize for the accuracy person, what is good enough? As long as it hits the target, it's clearly defined by you or the instructor or the context, that's good enough. Now we don't know what bullets are gonna do when they strike flesh anyway, so shooting the center of the center may not be advantageous to you. We just have to shoot the given space aloud and we have to say good enough. What accuracy first shooters lack is trust. They do not trust themselves, so they overconfirm everything they do and become indecisive. Now, we've corrected ourselves without emotion and suddenly we're doing much better. Then we need to celebrate our success. What we wanna do is reaffirm success and correct poor behavior. That's the right way to get you to do the right thing. So you, let me say that again. We wanna affirm success. 
that's what I want to happen 99% of the time or 90% of the time. When we make a corrective behavior, we want to recognize what went wrong and give ourselves with immediate feedback a chance to correct it. Your emotion does not supply that. In fact, it's kind of a waste of time for you to have that tantrum online. I see this a lot and allowed in class. Oh God, don't tell me. I already saw you didn't perform well. You don't need to shake your head. All right. You didn't need to whip yourself, but you do need to fix it post haste. I don't know what that word means, but you better get after it sooner. All right. Make sure that you correct your behavior then, because then it's meaningful. And when you do correct it, say, yes, that's the right way to do it and affirm the success. And you will start performing so much quicker. If you do 10 shots like that, you're going to find yourself improving as a shooter at a much faster rate. Frankly, I'm surprised at how long people wallow in this pity and emotional toil of shooting because really it's not a very hard thing to shoot well. It's just a compressed time standard. So it creates a lot of pressure on us. I'm not saying it's easy. I'm just saying the physical action itself is fairly simple. The time pressures and the accuracy standards are what put pressure on us. And we have to learn how to deal with it. And at the end of the day, you have to learn how to deal with yourself. Okay, I, have an, I have a bad temper. Uh, you guys don't ever see that because I modulate it. This is my professional environment. But my temper is, is uh, is Hulk style. It's big. I have to be very careful of it. So what I look for is the precursors of when I'm starting to get aggravated and I make a correction there. And I let myself know what the outcome of that behavior is going to be. I don't want to accept that. And then when I overcome it, I do better. I have a really hard time with administrators. I always have guys. It doesn't make any sense to me. Okay. People want to blame. They want to shift stuff around. They want to talk about this and everything takes way too long. I'm an immediate feedback guy. Can we please fix the problem? And I had this problem the other day, but my wife is exceptionally good at it. So I watched the way she handles it and she does a great job. So therefore I followed her role model. I didn't allow myself to get angry, but I asked the questions that mattered so I could get the feedback. It's really hard when you got to live your own methodology and it worked for me. And now I'm congratulating myself by saying it clearly in the video. Number one, I have a bad temper. Number two, I've learned a way to work around it. Number three, it follows the neuroscience of improving yourself. And this can be used for everything. Martial arts have always been a refinement of first you and then overcoming the opponent. Because if you can't work with yourself and you beat yourself up, it's the whole world against nobody. All right. I hope that helps you with the correction. No emotion. Correct the behavior. When you do well, celebrate your success like you mean it. Think about warrior cultures. I want a Viking celebration when you get done. You're going to enjoy shooting. It's going to be fun. We call it autotelic. It is rewarding behavior in itself, and you will have more fun shooting, and you'll be able to last longer because I'm watching some of you burn out, man. You try awful hard. You, you, you work, you work, you work, and then you burn out and you disappear. All right? This should be a lifelong endeavor, much like eating right exercising. We're going to practice our shooting skills and it's going to reward us and we're going to do them at the highest level possible for us, not compared to somebody else, but better than we were yesterday. All right. This has been your fireside chat. All right. doesn't really have anything to do with the manis, except the manis is another correction behavior. All right. It has no emotion. It doesn't tell you you're dumb. It just gives you a, a readout, a score and a graph so you can validate what you saw because perception is not always reality. Hey, look at that. I sewed it back in there. Please subscribe, act to self-protection extra, go to the main channel, learn the lessons that are being told there, see if these things will work for you. And as always, if I can help you in any way, I'm here. Leave a question. I'll try to get back to it. Sometimes I can, sometimes I can't. Sometimes I'll just make a video out of it. All right. Please measure, refine, and perform.